Last week, I talked about movies that need haunted houses, that Howling Horror Nights, not Scary Farm, one of those properties, I don't care which one. And today we are talking about video games, the video games that need some haunted houses. I think they would be just terrific, just insane. In no particular order, but my first place is my first place, so just keep that in mind. In fifth place though, I have Fallout. Fallout, just the vibe, I think the setting of this is just top notch, just top tier. I only have a few more that I think setting wise are as interesting as this, just a whole, the idea of going into the vault for a maze is really cool. You could get so many clever ideas because the vaults themselves are inherently creepy once you look into it. You go on like a YouTube deep dive and type in like, you know, scariest vaults, most insane experiments from the vaults, you're gonna go down a crazy rabbit hole. You're gonna find some crazy awesome just lore bits. The lore's so rich there. And that's not even including the ghouls and everything like that. The feral ghouls, they, they go so crazy. They go so wild, no pun intended, in the maze. From there, I have Arkham Asylum. And again, kind of a weird one because I mentioned it in my, uh, my movie, Maze Ideas, but the Warner Brothers lot did kind of like this Arkham Asylum kind of like maze thing. Kind of maze, kind of like, you know, like just like a set tour it wasn't that good from the videos that i saw but i think if you did a full-fledged maze on this it'd be so cool you get all the batman villains in there you get freaking joker and then even some of the scarier villains i'm talking man bat killer croc all those guys uh freaking professor pig dude professor pig we gotta talk about that that's one of the scariest motherfuckers to ever walk the plane of a comic book i don't care that one mission in Arkham Knight, that's freaking terrifying. Like, what the hell? The prison setting could be cool, get very gothic like Batman, like Arkham is at its best, that Tim Burton era, that'd be cool. From there, I have Resident Evil. I have the two newer ones. I know that uh, Universal Japan does a Resident Evil maze, which looks really cool, don't get me wrong, with you know Mr. X and all that stuff. But I'm talking the Baker family. I'm talking, talking Lady D and like her sisters. <laughs> Or daughters. <laughs> but no, okay, genuine, gen gen genuine, 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 genuine. You can't tell me that wouldn't be cool. You can't tell me the Baker family. Don't really do this little slime guys from the second half of that game. You don't have to do that. Same thing, Resident Evil. You know, dude, the freaking baby level from Resident Evil 8. That, dude, mm-hmm, that's terrifying. That would be so good in a haunted house. As freaking Mr. Baker kicking down the door. Woohoo! I'm gonna get you. Okay, dude, this needs to happen. Like, Universal, I need to tag Universal. Make this happen, dude, and then invite me, hook me up with some free passes. I'll gladly accept. After that, I have Dead Space. This one's super difficult to do because obviously it's in space. But, you know, I think you could get creative. They've gotten creative in the past. Just the vibe of this fits really well, Dead Space. Dead Space is kind of one of the big pioneers of this vibe, the survival horror vibe along with the OG Resident Evils. When I think about like modern day survival horror, sure you could throw it to like an alien isolation, which I think Dead Space has a ton of influence in getting that game made. But just, like I said, alien monsters in space, what's not to like about that? It's gonna be amazing. My number one pick though is probably my number one pick for a maze just to be made in general above movies. Maybe not like movies too, but again, one of my biggest ones on my wish list, which again, not too relevant right now, I know, but there's supposed to be a new one coming out in the future. That's Bioshock. Animatronic Big Daddy? That's going insane. The splicers, everything you do like that would be so cool. The vibe, so unique. Go to that underwater falling apart, all rusty, all falling apart. That would be amazing. I think the potential is so high. And as far as like a vibe that feels really different, that would be so cool. Like I said, just animatronic uh, Big Daddy. Let me just pitch you on that. Freaking Little Sisters, the Splicers, every different kind of Splicer, the whole entire vibe, that underwater city, amazing. Anyways, that's the video. Thanks so much for watching. Hit subscribe. I got new videos coming out all the time, like every day this week, so hit subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you later.